Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us in this first-round matchup of the National Invitation Tournament. Let's see how this matchup unfolds between the Utah Utes and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it'd be a total m and a total mismatch. The Hawkeyes should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Next, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. And lastly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Turns it over, and the ball goes out of bounds. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Trying to go inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Got it. Got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Number 52 looks to be down emotionally. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Jumps into the defender. Up. Easy one. Anticipation defensively. Number 11 takes the feed. They work the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dump it inside. The center gets the pass. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from downtown. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball. Down. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Trying to feed inside. Fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Dumps it in. Number 53 gets the ball. Gets it back out. He looks at the hoop. Gets the rejection. And back they come the other way. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Looking for the foul. Kick 
keeps the dribble as they regroup. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Easy two coming here. The shooting guard takes the pass. And the jam. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. They look to get it to the inside. Now they work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here on the landlord. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Number 50 makes the finger roll. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Number 24 fakes the shot. 10 on the shot clock. The power forward with the ball. Goes up for two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He drains the bucket. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Fakes it. Sets the screen for his teammate. Way off target. Momentary look from three-point land. He buries the shot. Some frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Utah are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put them off it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. On the outside. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Top of the circle. He drains the long range bomb. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He blocks the shot, and the ball goes out of play. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Sinks the shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. For 
with a bucket. Doesn't go. Utah are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Moving it around the perimeter. Kicks off the lazy pass. Leans in. Easy one. Launches the three. Way off target. Picked out of the air. They work the perimeter. He takes the shot. It sticks. There it is again. He fakes the shot. Here's a double team. Number 11 takes it away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper picked off let's see if they can get a good shot this trip with the fake and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Utah are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Dump it inside. He shoots from the top of the key. In and out. Number 24 comes up with it. Working it around the perimeter. There he is, puts the ball loose. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He misses it. He cleans the glass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They'll work it around the arc. Intercepted. 
Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Number 24 grabs it. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. There's the trap. Jumped in front to take it away. Number 50 with the, the layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to have to. He is going to the line. He got it. perimeter gave it up very soft defensively no pressure on the basketball and with that there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively now the dribble gives it up and now they'll bring it up steal they get it out into transition number 32 is pretty fired up and excited yeah no kidding partner when you have some success you start to gain some confidence he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Kicks it out. For two. Can't get the shot to go. They're working around the perimeter. Nice pass to the low block. There was no doubt about that one. Goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Inside. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Perfectly executed. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. But inside from three-point range knocks it down he intercepts it working it around the perimeter got a nice screen Dick they are loving it behind that line hey as long as you're hitting the loving is good baby to the circle makes it gave it up pass down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The fake. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket, the Hawkeyes have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Trying to draw contact. Takes away the pass. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Ball's coming from the sideline. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. There's the pick. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. You betcha. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot from the baseline. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. He's got some room. Whistled for the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. Both free throws go. Step in. Oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. Shot clock is dead. The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Tries for two. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Gave it up. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Makes the first shot. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. From right at the circle, he's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. At the half, the Utes are ahead by five. Iowa is 
not hitting the boards with any kind of efficiency in the first half. I agree, partner. They're getting beat to the punch almost every time. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He takes the shot off the baseline, way off target. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow, a little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> There's, what a facial on that one. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Visit the charity strike. He hits it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get a triple grip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. For two, this guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Gave it up. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Number 32 is charged with the foul. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Dump it inside. Got the shot if he wants it. Double team now, bad angle. He launches the bomb. He gets the shot to fall. The Hawkeyes trail by nine. Gonna move it around the perimeter. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. the dribble gives it up working it around the perimeter number 32 with the foul second personal foul 
Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Goes. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Now they work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. On the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. The lay -in. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Hawkeyes trail by five. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Get that sucker out of the game, man. There's a steal. On the outside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And he'll kick it back outside. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The brush is getting to him, Brad. Number zero picks up the foul. First personal foul. not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the pair. He misses the first. Misses both of them. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From right in the circle, he kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores despite the hack. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Steals the pass. Trying to get 
that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He fires from long range. He grabs the rebound. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. For two, Iowa have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Here's a double team. Oh, what a strip, Red. Defense giving no room for the bucket. He hits it. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. the dribble gives it up number 21 is called for the foul fifth team foul they're feeling good the momentum is on their side and everything has fallen into place their body language dick says it all i'd celebrate too partner they are playing some great basketball at the moment off the rim and no good he shoots from long range Sinks it. From beyond the arc, he makes the shot. They're working around the perimeter. Down in the low block, trying to work the lane. Tries for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Working it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He seems determined to take the tough shot. Look at that ball, and the offense is being totally taken out of center. This one deserves another look, Brad. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Dick and Brad, I know you're in shock, so am I, but nothing is slowing down this underdog team tonight. They played their game in the second half and never looked back. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep, and number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Gave it up. Picked off. He makes the block. Great defense. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Fires away. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. to draw some contact and he scores it off the glass now they work it around the perimeter takes the outside jumper he's money with a shot up and inside he intercepts it Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, straight up front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. There's a shot clock violation. They ran out of time because they made him think twice about where the ball should be passed. Made him think three or four times, if you ask me. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. He'll kick it back outside. Fakes a jumper, moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle, drains it from downtown. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. On the inside. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Robs him of the ball. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He comes away with it. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Dickie 
Fifth man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. They work it around the perimeter. He rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. Great shot. for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the baseline. The Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the trap. He takes it away. Gave it up. The ball goes out of play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The Hawkeyes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the bucket, the land. Very active defensively, a lot of pressure on a basketball. For two, can't get the shot to go. He shoots from outside. Rims out. He tries the three ball. Iowa is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. Sinks it. Look at that spacing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Good fake. Pushing that basketball. Three-pointer. That was nice. change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. And Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. He unloads a three. They got a foul quickly here. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick. Isn't it a clock management here? Now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble.
gets the second shot. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the top of the key. He can't get the bucket to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. We get another look. The shooting guard takes the pass. They're working around the arc. They're going to move it around the perimeter on the outside. This thing's going back to the drawing board, Dick. This wasn't supposed to happen. We didn't expect that they were going to lose this ball game, and I'm sure their fans and their coaching staff didn't expect it either. I tell you what, they didn't close it out. They couldn't make the big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away from which made them such an outstanding team. Being unselfish and sharing the ball. Iowa found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.